What up everybody, are you ready for some action? Because we're gonna review one heavyweight champion. His name is Sisoko and he looks muy bueno, but that SBC price makes me wanna say hell no. What up everybody and welcome back to a brand new FIFA 20 Summer Heat player review. EA have just released Nelson Semedo, who you can unlock in Rivals. So tomorrow I will have an episode ready on him. Today's episode will be on a heavyweight champion, Musa Sissoko. He is just about as expensive as Paul Pogba. There is also an Endobele. He will get a strong link to Endobele. There is also Summer Heat Fabinho. So there are lots of cards. So do we really need him? Not really. Still, let's find out if this guy is a tank. Before we start though, if you're new to the channel, please smash that subscribe button. Let's get to 1000 subs. Alright boys, here we go. Yo newbie, are you sure you want to collect this card bro? You know it's a sin to be too greedy, huh? I have to man, he's a beast. I got to have him in my club. So first things first, Musa Sizoko, 6'2", high high work rate is ideal for a box to box midfielder, 3 star skill moves and 4 star weak foot. He has 94 pace but that acceleration is a little bit low with 86, sprint speed 99 is phenomenal. Also if we look at the agility and balance I think we see the weakest side of this player, 76 agility, 69 balance so he will probably feel heavy, not like Ndombele and certainly not not like Thomas Delaney from yesterday. The other dribbling stats are phenomenal with 98 reactions, 99 dribbling, 96 ball control and 90 composure. His defending and physicals look exceptional. 95 interceptions, 90 defensive awareness, 97 stand tackle and 96 slide tackle. That is just phenomenal. The physicals, 99 strength, 94 aggression and 99 stamina. You know that birthday card from him or that Fatmas card was already really good. So this will be a humongous upgrade. Yeah, that's what your wife said. Taking a look at the passing, we see very good stats. 89 vision, 96 short pass and 89 long pass also the shot power 99 is perfect but yeah those long shots 83 is a little bit low so you can use him as a box to box midfielder but you know you cannot really have him as an attacking player his finishing 78 is also low so you don't want him close to the box you want him as a cdm preferably for a camp style i will put an engine camp style on him boost a little bit of the acceleration but especially that agility and balance i think you know, whatever camp style you use, make sure you boost that dribbling. So this is the team I will rock Sissoko in. Up front, I've got Trezeguet, Bruno Fernandes and Bernardo Silva. The midfield is solid as a rock. Sissoko, Enombele and Fabinho. I will play this 4-3-3 even though it's not my best formation, but I just want to try them all three out on the midfield and see who is the biggest monster. In the defense, few more monsters to go. Mondi, Sar. Thiago Silva and Danilo Ingo van de Sar. Prepare for glory! Endombele onto Sar. With the pass onto Ferlamondi. Endombele. All the way to Fabinho. This midfield looks super strong. Sizoko. Look at these three mammoths of players. Ah, Fabinho loses the ball there. Fabinho. With the pass onto Endombele. Nice skill moves. That's what I'm missing with Sizoko. Four star skill moves. Endobello with the pass, Sissoko, can he play it through? He cannot, he cannot play the pass there. Bernardo Silva gets the ball back. It's good pressure. Thiago Silva, Sissoko. Fabinho on to Endombele with the pass. Bruno Fernandes with the shot. Oh, holy smokes. What a fire goal. That midfield is so dominant with these three players. And Bruno Fernandes up front. Spectacular 1-0. Oh, he's gone. That was quick. That was a quickie. <laughs> Is it good for you? <laughs> I've had better. Bruno Fernandes with the kickoff. Round two, fight. We're gonna go with Ndombele and Sizoko. Mandi. Man, all these players are so strong. Defensive wise, physical. There we go. And Dombele. Ah, oh, he cannot play the pass there. Oh, that's a beautiful interception from Endombele. Oh, don't lose the ball. Uses his strength. Sizoko onto Fabinho. Back to Sizoko. Who is available? Fabinho. Bruno Fernandes. Ah. 
Can we get the ball back? We can. Sar. The only thing what I did with my three midfielders is that now Fabinho is an attacking player and that passing is not good. But thank God Sar gets the ball back one more time. Let's try again. Bruno Fernandes. Silva making the run. Oh, that's not the pass that I want. And Nomele gets it back. Fernandes with the shot. No, nope, no, no, no. Shot blocked. Ah. Bruno Fernandes. Oh, should have played the chipped, the lobbed through ball. Mandi gets the ball back. That's some nice skills. Oh, beautiful. And the pass. Bruno Fernandes with the pass. And Nobele. Oh, the shot. Is Mandi is making a run for it. Oh, that's a good through ball onto Barnes. He's gonna cut inside. He did not. Oof, almost. Sizoko. Right place, right time. Great interception. Can we play the counter? Teresa Ge. Beautiful Magini spin. Beautiful Elastico. Mondi. Uh, I did not want to play on Bruno Fernandes. He's offside. Come on, EA. Uh, who are you gonna play to? Look at all these beasts. Sizoko with the interception. Endombele. Back to Sizoko. Back to Endombele. Nice one, two. Sizoko and Dombele making the run. Ah, can I play the pass there? Shielded. On to Terezege. This guy is also playing one depth drop back. Bruno Fernandes. Aoi. Loses possession. And Dombele gets it back. Sizoko making the run. Bruno Fernandes plays the pass a little bit too late but gets the ball back. Sizoko with the pass. The Shot blocked by Areola. Fuck that shit. And we pick up the ball with Mondi. Oh, Mondi loses the ball. How did I not have that one? Ah, we cut back to Werner. 1 0 behind. That sucks. And that's a great kickoff. Jesus. Come on, fucking hell. Trezeguet, beautiful moves. I really like Trezeguet. Oh man, that's such a great player. Danilo. Can we play the pass onto Vinicius? Ah, oh, that's behind the player. Heel and the shot. Oh, how did Areola save that one? Come on. Oh, he's through. Thank God we have Danilo. Oh, we don't have Danilo. There we go, we have Danilo. Oh, how does he still have that ball? Come on, how does he have that ball? Oh. <sighs> wow, that's like typical L2 spamming there. Can't understand why I did not have the ball there. Yes, I, I, I still don't get it. Oh, he's through again. Stop him. Oh, that's a drag back. Sizoko, right place, right time. That happens a lot to him. Great interceptions. Vinicius with the rainbow flick. Of course. Fernandes. Oh my god. Areola. That is also a glitch keeper. If we get him for summer heat, I'm going to be very happy. Doom straight away. There he is again. Fernandes. The shot. Sar. Oh. Saved by Areola. We have some good pressure on him. Let's take this corner short on Trezge. Trezge. Near post. Saved by Areola. Yet again. Another corner. And the header, Danilo. Oh man, this ball just doesn't want to go inside the goal. Get the ball. Bruno Fernandes gets the ball. Nice. Bernardo. Bruno Fernandes. This time, surely. There we go. Bernardo Silva. Beautiful finish, 1-2. Everything is still possible. We have 15 minutes left. I, I don't see how that's a party. Oh, no, 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 no. Nice. Saren and Dombele working together, get that ball. Bruno Fernandes. Uh, come on, play the through ball. Not that way, Chip. Why does he play it on the inside? Why doesn't he play it on the inside? Come on. Bruno Fernandes, 
Ah, come on, get that ball. One more chance, please. Please, guys. I just want to win. No, 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 that's a horrible through ball. That's it, one, two, loss. I had a difficult day yesterday. All right, guys, I played a few matches with this Sissoko, and yes, he is a beast. If you can partner him up on the midfield with a Pogba, Endombele or Fabinho, you will have a very strong midfield. The thing is, those cards are already there and I don't think that he is a major upgrade to any of them. Plus, he's very expensive at 250k. Yesterday's card, Thomas Delaney, was way better value for your coins. He was only 100k and he brought something to the table that these other players don't have. A lot of pace and a lot of agility. Like Sissoko, he's not very agile, you know, so do you really need him as an upgrade to Ndombele? Probably not. I cannot recommend this SBC. Yesterday's SBC, I can recommend. Thomas Delaney, go and do him. Sissoko, if you're a fan, you can do him, otherwise don't even bother. Alright guys, this was it for today, hopefully you enjoyed this episode, hopefully it was helpful, leave a like, comment, subscribe to the channel, I'll see you in the next vid, later!